Hey, this is Bob Warfield. In this video, I want to take you through how to set up GWizard Calculator from soup to nuts. We'll pretend you're on the free trial and you need to set up your free trial, download the software, and install GWizard. If you're a customer who's subscribed to the product, you will have received an email that tells you how to download, or I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's jump in and try it. Okay. Your first thing you want to do is go to uh, the CNC Cookbook homepage, right? That's the GWizard page. And you can just get right in here, click one of these, start now, it's free, or click the start trial, doesn't really matter. Uh, and you'll be taken to the sign up page, right? And from there, just enter your name. Click Start Now, it's free, and it'll take you to the download page. Okay, let's back up a sec. Let's say you're either already a paying customer or want to just get the download uh, because you're installing on a new machine. Uh, the way you do that is you click the Help Desk button. It's either down there or it's up on the top menus for most pages. Come over here right at the top. It shows you the download links for all of our software. So you go to the download page. OK, here it's going to just make sure you're already registered. So here's the real uh, download page here. OK, it's real simple. Just click the button for what kind of machine you have, a PC or whatever. You click that button. You know, typically you're going to see a little uh, item open up here. Some browsers, it's up in the right that tells you the download. It's going to come along and download your software. OK, and once it's finished downloading, just open up the software. Uh, you get a little pop up that tells you what's going on here as it's loading. OK, and I want to go ahead. I've already got it installed, of course, but otherwise it would go ahead and do the install. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And GWizard will come up. Right, and you're going to see something that looks just like this. Now, log in with your email, and uh, right, once you give it your email, it's going to give you the license agreement, accept that, and that's pretty much it. You're now logged in. Now, here's the thing if you are not a uh, registered user, it should tell you that. It's not going to let you access any of the feeds and speeds. Or other tabs it's going to keep you on this setup tab so that's a sure indication you're not registered just go to the site and register like I just showed you okay now let's get this all set up for our machine so if I click here you can see we have a my shop section and an all machines tab and uh, I don't have anything in my shop so let's go ahead and let's put something in uh, I'm just gonna pick a Haas VF2 I'm going to click Add to my shop, right? If I go back to my shop, I've got a Haas VF2, right? And if, assuming your machine's on the list, that's really all you need to do. Now, what if your machine's not on the list? Uh, what if you need to configure a machine? Uh, that's also very easy to do. You can set up any machine, and I'm going to show you how right now. So we have a, uh, a Shape Oco uh, entry, but let's say we want to create a shape oco entry, right? I want to come in here and I'm just going to type uh, what name I want to call this profile, shape oco, right? And what kind of CNC machine is it? Mill, router, or lathe? Shape ocos are routers, right? It's uh, make is shape oco. And uh, let's see, let's say I've got just a straight up. Uh, Shape Oco 3. I guess technically Shape Ocos are made by uh, Carbide 3D. So let's put it in there this way. Right now I have to answer just a few questions. It wants to know my maximum and minimum spindle RPM. Uh, how powerful is my spindle in terms of horsepower or if we're in metric it wants kilowatts. And what's my maximum feed rate in either inches per minute or millimeters per minute in metric? Um, so typically, if, if we're not here, you're going to want to go look that up on your manufacturer's website. Right, so let's go have a look and see what we've got for uh, 
our shape oco uh, let's assume we've got carbide compacts uh, router that they make uh, and it says here the RPM range is 12,000 to 30,000. So we can go ahead and enter that into uh, GWizard here. 30,000 is the max. Right. And the minimum RPM is 12,000. Okay. Right. And let's see. We know that that's also a... 1.25 horsepower and it's pretty darn hard to find on their site but I also happen to know it's 100 inches per minute and so if I come along and I hit save let's call that a shape oko 3 up here too right so I save that I now have shape oko 3 let's go in here let's make sure the shape oko 3 is on my uh, add to my shop Right. So now I've got both of these machines on here and I can select them. And that's really all you need to know to set up your machine. Uh, if you want to change your units, it's also here on the setup uh, basics. You can go inches or millimeters. Uh, we can change our theme if you prefer some of these other color schemes uh, to make it easier to see what's going on. You can change the font size. Those are your basics for setting up uh, GWizard. And that is all you need in order to get started right there. Okay. Thanks for checking it out. And we'll go on to our next video.